G'day, it's Heath here from PickingLessons.com, Sailor's Hornpipe. This is such a great tune to play on the banjo. We're in a melodic style, a little bit of single string, key of G. There are two parts. We're going to break down and start to look at the first four measures of the tune here in this video just a moment. But if you head to PickingLessons.com, you'll grab yourself a copy of the chart that we're working through. Uh, we'll also break down the remainder of the tune, part A and B. Uh, we've also got some playing along and backing tracks there to help guide you through your practice. So PickingLessons.com. Now we're going to start out with a little break breakdown of the first four measures. We're in the key of G standard tuning. Uh, there's a little bit of um, modulation in the tune, so we'll look at that in a moment as well. But we start out in G in very much a melodic position. So up the neck a little bit, we're using our open strings, overlapping our fretted notes and all that good stuff that we find in the melodic style. Uh, we're going to count it in four as we learn this, but as you increase your tempo, you can count it in cut time. So counting in four would be something like this. Three, four, one, two, three. If we're in cut time, you feel every two beats, so it'd be more like this. So just a slightly different pulse, but it all ends up being the same anyway. Now, uh, our pickup, we're going to count on that fourth beat there. So one, two, three, four, one. Try not to hold that air sharp down because you'll get a little dissonant. So once we've played it, we're going to remove it. Three, four, one. Just helps to clear up those notes a little bit. Beat two, measure one. There's a dot above that G note, just sitting above the tablature there. That's a staccato uh, reference for our rhythm. Now what that is telling us is to shorten the note. We're going to detach it from the next beat. So we want some separation. It helps us punctuate the melody a little bit in the rhythm. So as we come through, we're going to cut that one short. You can use your left hand or you could use your pick. It doesn't really matter. I tend to use the left hand. I think it's a bit more effective, but you could do it both ways in this example. Uh, then we bit of a roll through. So second half of the measure, second finger there to the C. So forward roll to the C with our thumb and then continue the forward roll into measure two to fret uh, string five, back to the F sharp. So we might just play through that much from um, the pickup note, three, four, one. Rolling forward. Second half of that second measure, back to that high G. So a bit of rolling to kick us off there. One more time, three, four. At this point in time though, that first finger is going to shift up to fret 9. So we can get away with not taking it off at this moment because we are going to move up the neck anyway. So as we come through, we're going to change up to this next sort of melodic position of the scale. Our first finger is at fret 9, second finger is at fret 10. Uh, and we're going to just continue our rolling as we do that. into a reverse roll. So a little forwards, a little backwards so far. Quick position change though, next to fret seven in fret three, and then second finger to fret seven on string four with another staccato. This one, because it's fretted, you can just relax the pressure and then bring it back on. So that can be the left hand's job, definitely. The position changes here straight away in the tune can be challenging, so let's just work on those. So we're going to be that fourth fret, then up to that ninth fret with our first finger. From the pickup, three, four, one. Now, See how you go with that so far. Just, just practice that one up. So we've talked about our left hand. Now the right hand's all in the tablature, but the rolling, that should make sense that it's just thumb index middle as we do that, those three note rolls. As we move on and it becomes more melodic, we'll see this in the next measure. That will be a little bit of a different approach. So as we finish off measure three, uh, that middle thumb there on the seventh fret open string, change position now. This little passage here, 
first, second, third fingers for the, the notes we have there, the F sharp, the E, and then the C sharp, there's an open D in there as well. And what we're gonna do for the right hand is go middle, thumb, open string, middle, thumb, back to the middle finger. These two next pick up notes, back to thumb and middle. So that fourth measure is, is a very common way of approaching some of these melodic passages where we go finger, thumb, finger, thumb. Opening us off to the tune, we have more of a roll through the string, so the three finger rolls. Those first four measures, let's just break that down before we finish here. So three, four. That's our opening for the section. There's a fair bit going on there already. Head to pickandlessons.com. We're gonna break the rest of this A section down and long moving into part B as well. You'll find the tablature there. You'll also find a backing and play along track. So once you get to know the tune, you can slow those down and put them in your slow downer and bring them up as you practice. It's always a great move to help you learn the tune. So pickandlessons.com, I'll see you there.